Princess? Have you not yet gone to rest? I could not help thinking about Godot. <sighs> Do you remember how he would scold us when we were younger? How could I forget? Around the time I came to the palace as your playmate, yes? Indeed. I was thrilled to have a friend my age for once. I'd sneak into your bed at night, and of course Godot would find me and lecture us both. How did it go? When children don't stay asleep after their bedtimes, a ghost appears and carries them away in a sack. <laughs> How nostalgic. A ghost, he said. As I recall, you were never scared of ghost stories at all. In fact, you'd just beg my brother to continue. <laughs> if nothing else, his tales were always amusing. You, on the other hand, were quite frightened, were you not? I, I was just a child. Thinking back, I can't believe I let myself get spooked by a bunch of silly stories like that. Ah! Miranda? No, no it's, it's nothing. Nothing at all, you're hot. Ah! What is it? There's something outside the window. A w white shadow. I did not notice anything. It's true. Something's moving and making creepy noises. Like a spectral sack. Then I shall go and take a look. Princess, it's too dangerous. What if it is a ghost? Maybe it heard us talking about it. The princess could get thrown in its sack and taken away. I have to save her highness. No, but... But... Ah! T'would seem some bed sheets were caught near the window. Huh? B -b 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 bed sheets? It must have flown over from a clothesline earlier today. The breeze caused it to flutter and rustle in the wind. Oh. <sighs> Miranda, can it be that you're still afraid of ghosts? Yes, milady. Truth be told, they terrify me to this day. I did not know. You usually act so calm and collected. I'd been holding it in as long as I could. I didn't want your highness to see me in such a pitiful state. <laughs> this is no laughing matter. My apologies. I could not help it. Miranda, fearless warrior on the battlefield, cowering from a spooky sheet. <laughs> the contrast is amusing, you must admit. It's your and Godot's fault I am this way to begin with. Even as a child, you were so amused, you just kept asking for more and more details. And my brother, with that serious face of his, wouldn't stop going on about what the ghost did with all the kids it took. Thanks to you two, the fear of phantoms haunts me still. I'm terribly sorry about all that. But it makes me happy to hear you haven't changed a bit. Are you implying I'm still a child? Oh, Miranda, please do not pout. Well, let's hurry back to bed, before the ghosts find us. Milady! Just kidding. 